Ladies and gentlemen, the Tesla Semi is coming in 2022. Okay, when I started working on this video a couple days ago, it seemed like we were on track for an optimistic story about how the Tesla Semi was finally going to reach limited production in 2021 based on some credible rumors. Then Tesla themselves came in with some updates on their 4680 battery cells and vehicle production lines that started to cast some doubt on all that optimism. Then Tesla just held their Q2 earnings call where they straight up said, we're not building the semi until 2022. So we could have just scrapped the whole semi idea and done another Cybertruck clickbait video, but instead let's have an honest talk about the Tesla semi. The latest updates might not be good news, but they are news, so we're going to see what we can learn today. So back in January of 2021, Elon said on the Q4 earnings call that the engineering work on the Tesla Semi had been completed and deliveries were expected to begin this year. He did add the caveat at the time that the availability of battery cells could limit the company's ability to produce the Semi. On that call, Elon said, quote, the main reason we have not accelerated new products like, for example, Tesla Semi, is that we simply don't have enough cells for it. If we were to make the Semi right now, and we could easily go into production with the Semi right now, but we would not have enough cells for it. And since you can't really be a Tesla fan without also being an eternal optimist, we all conceded that, well, they'll probably figure out the whole battery situation and everything will be fine. It wasn't. Flash forward to the Q2 earnings call that just wrecked my video idea a few hours ago and we hear Tesla admitting that Semi is on the back burner until sometime in 2022. Here's what Tesla wrote in their letter to shareholders released on Monday, July 26th. We believe we remain on track to build our first Model Y vehicles in Berlin and Austin in 2021. The pace of the respective production ramps will be influenced by the successful introduction of many new product and manufacturing technologies, ongoing supply chain related challenges, and regional permitting. To better focus on these factories and due to the limited availability of battery cells and global supply chain challenges, we have shifted the launch of the semi-truck program to 2022. We are also making progress on the industrialization of Cybertruck, which is currently planned for Austin production subsequent to Model Y. That would make the Semi the most heavily delayed of Tesla's many delayed projects. The Semi was unveiled in 2017 with a production goal of 2019. So we're looking down the barrel of a three year delay. The reason this setback comes as a bit of a surprise is as mentioned in our last video on July 20th, the good people at Electrek reported that the Semi was finally nearing production and everything felt very triumphant. Now, I'm not saying Electrek were wrong in their reporting. They're an extremely good source for information, by far one of the most viewed web pages. But they were wrong in the assumption that they pulled from that report about semi production. And I get that everyone needs a clicky headline, it's the internet. There was some really positive news in that report that we will get into a little later in the good news section of the video. But first, so we really should have started bracing for bad news over a month ago when Tesla's head of their brand new heavy trucking division, Jerome Guillen, departed the company under unknown circumstances. Which is to say, we still don't know if Jerome quit or was fired or what happened to him. Before moving to the semi project, Jerome had been Tesla's president of automotive since Q3 of 2018. He would have been the person in charge for many of the company's biggest milestones the production ramp up of the Model 3, the opening of Giga Shanghai, the launch of the Model Y, but also he was in charge of some not so good stuff like the quality controlled nightmares of the Model Y, and he failed the launch of the new Model S and Model X that was supposed to happen in the spring and is still to this day struggling to get going. In March, he was announced as the new lead of Tesla's heavy trucking project, and by June 3rd, he had peaced out. According to Jerome's LinkedIn page, he still works at Tesla. He hasn't updated in the nearly two months he's been gone, so that's a little bit sus. All we really know about him since leaving Tesla is that he sold $270 million of the company's shares. Now that's not completely unusual for a person in his situation. He exercised options to buy that stock and then sold it for a profit. 
Basically, as a Tesla executive, he would have been given the opportunity to buy stock at a heavily discounted price and then resell it for full market value, thereby making a shit ton of money. That's how rich people get more rich. It's not all about fat paychecks. Anyway, that's enough about that. The real villain in this whole situation turned out to be Tesla's 4680 battery cell. Nearly a year ago at Battery Day, we were all eagerly optimistic that this amazing new battery technology would be flying off the production line all through 2021. It hasn't. But luckily, Tesla is being very open and honest about the status of the 4680 production, so we don't have to do much guessing on this one. In their recent Q2 update, Tesla says this about the new battery. Quote, we have successfully validated performance and lifetime of our 4680 cells produced at our Cato facility in California. We are nearing the end of manufacturing validation at Cato. Field quality and yield are at viable levels, and our focus is now on improving the 10% of manufacturing processes that currently bottleneck production output. While substantial progress has been made, we still have work ahead of us before we can achieve volume production, internal crash testing of our structural pack architecture with a single piece front casting has been successful. In short, the batteries work, they're safe, but they haven't perfected the art of making a lot of them very quickly. And that brings us back again to the Tesla Semi. This truck is going to need a lot of batteries. And if it's going to have any hope of reaching a reasonable level of efficiency, then it's going to need the 4680 battery specifically. And we're just not there yet, not for the semi at least. From all of the information that Tesla has released over the past few days, they still seem to be very optimistic about the new Model Y reaching production in 2021, and that's the pot that all of the existing 4680 cells will be going into. If semi and Cybertruck are on the back burners, Model Y is very much on the front burner. And that absolutely makes sense. It's a spectacularly popular car. The design, even in its current form, is fantastic. With the upgrade to front casting and structural 4680 battery cells, it'll be the best car on the market by a very wide margin. You know what's even more fun than talking about Tesla production delays? Talking about space. That's why we just started a brand new YouTube channel called The Space Race, where we take a fun and informative look at the next generation of human spaceflight. You should definitely subscribe. There's a link down below in the description. So here's where I had originally planned for this video to start off, with good news about the Tesla Semi production and optimism that this long delayed project is finally starting to take shape. But we can't have our cake and eat it too, whatever the f that means. We had to frame this update with a heavy dose of reality first. In March of this year, we got the first news that Tesla were constructing a semi truck production line at their Giga Nevada battery plant. It was always assumed that this would be a temporary line just to get the project started. Even to this day, the final production location for the semi is still listed as to be determined. And we were expecting that the Nevada line would have a modest output of about five trucks per week. And then very recently on July 20th, we got the update that the Nevada production line was almost ready to start. Quote unquote, Sources familiar with the matter told the website Electrek that the drive axle production line is ready and the general assembly line is going through its final debugging before starting production. So like I said off the top, it's not that this information is wrong, it's probably accurate. The production line is moving towards a state of readiness, it's just that we, the eternally optimistic Tesla fans, jump to the conclusion that just because it's ready to start means that it's going to start. Knowing what we know now, it absolutely makes sense that Tesla would be readying their production facility for the semi truck, even if it's not going to final assembly anytime soon. They would just put the whole project on pause and sit on their hands until the batteries are ready. Tesla can get everything in order, work the kinks out, debug, train staff, find efficiencies, and all of that over the next few months. Then when the day finally comes that the battery cells are flowing, they can just start slapping trucks together and firing these bastards out the door. So I know that this is a different kind of video than most of the Tesla content out there, and maybe no one will watch it because of that. I wanna stress that I'm not saying we should stop being optimistic about Tesla or that we should all just start acting like a bunch of miserable assholes and hating on everything. I'm just saying that it's good to do a reality check every now and then, just to make sure that we aren't living in a fantasy bubble. That's something we want to keep doing here on the channel, and I hope that you as the viewer will want to keep exploring these ideas along with us. 
please leave a comment and let us know if you appreciate this type of content or should we just say that everything is awesome every day? I'm very curious to know what you guys think. One of our goals at the Tesla space is to inspire others to learn more about science and engineering, which is why we're really excited to work with our new brand partner, Brilliant.org. Brilliant.org is a problem solving based website and app with a hands on approach and over 60 interactive courses in math, science and computer science. The best way to learn is by applying lessons yourself and that's exactly what Brilliant allows you to do in the best way possible. All of Brilliant's courses have storytelling, code writing, interactive challenges and problems to solve to make it fun to progress to each new level of understanding and help you problem solve like an engineer. They guide you through problems that are broken into small sections to help you go from knowing nothing to having a deep understanding of a topic. And if you answer incorrectly, it will tell you exactly why and break down the information for you to correct any misconceptions. We need more engineers and out of the box thinkers in our world. So go to brilliant.org slash the Tesla space and sign up for free. And also the first 200 people that go to that link will get an additional 20% off the annual premium subscription. By the way, don't forget to sign up for our weekly newsletter. It's pretty cool. Subscribe to our new space channel. It's even better. Links to both in the description below. As always, if you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for weekly content just like this.